Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm doing another 24 hour readathon. So, today I am participating in another round of the Basically Readathon hosted by Basically Brit. And as you can tell by the title, I am giving it a special twist. So, I will be reading Solili Christmas books in the next 24 hours. So, I don't know about you guys, but I need Christmas this year. I really need it. I feel like 2020 has been such a mess, and we need all the Christmas vibes that we can get because this is the happiest time of the year most of the time at least. So I thought that I would start spreading the Christmas cheer by reading some Christmas books. I'm hoping that this is going to be the first of many Christmas videos that I'm planning on filming this year on my channel. I have so many books that I'm hoping to read this year and there's so many Christmas themed video ideas. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to <laughs> deliver and just manage to do everything on time. But today we're kicking things off with a Christmas 24 hour readathon. So I did one last year. Uh, I think it was like the week before Christmas or something like that. And I think you guys enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to filming another round of this this year and I have quite a TBR. So this is my list of options and that's only my physical TBR. So I'll go through everything. I'm not planning on reading everything. I just wanted to have as many options as possible because I don't know what I will want to read. I wanted to have a wide variety of options. So let's dive in. The first one that I have is All I Want for Christmas by Wendy Logia. Don't know too much about this, but look at this cover. It is like so cute and Christmassy and it's also super short like about 200 pages so I'm sure this would be something I could possibly read today but I love the cover and I'm excited to read it. Then I have Faking Under the Mistletoe by Ashley Shepard. This was a gift from my friend Megan. I will leave the link to her channel down below if you guys want to check her out but this is an office romance I believe that involves fake dating as the title suggests and I'm excited to read this. I think it was Chelsea over at Chelsea Darling Reads who recommended this book last year and I've been wanting to read it ever since. So I'm really hoping that this is something that I'll get to this year. Then we have Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow. This is a new book, like a new release that I've been very excited about because it features like fake dating. And I believe the whole concept like Rent a Boyfriend is something that is actually like true. It exists in Asia. So that's something that made me curious. This is not an holiday book per se, but it does take place over the holidays. So... There you have it. Then I have In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is their newest release. And I think this is like a Groundhog Day situation. I love Christina Lauren, so I thought I would check their newest release out. Then I have two in a great books, both of them written by Matt Haig. So we have The Girl Who Saved Christmas and A Photo of Christmas and Me. I read the first book in this series last year and absolutely loved it. So I'm really looking forward to reading the next two books. And then I have Mind the Gap, Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I loved the first two books in the series, especially the first one. And now I'm looking forward to reading the third installment. It just came out, so I'm very excited. And this one takes place in London, which I don't really know if you can tell by the cover but that's something that I'm also very excited about I love London so I'm looking forward to reading this one then I have the 12 dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless I think this is about a girl whose best friend sets her up on 12 dates before Christmas basically she signs her friend up for a dating agency and the premise is that they will find love for her in time for the holidays. So looking forward to that. And finally, on my physical TBR, I have The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hind. I guess this could cover the challenge that Brit sets for this readathon, which is to read a book that has been on your TBR forever because I found out about this book in 2018 and then I bought it last year thinking that I would be able to read it and I never did. So this year we're reading it, it's happening. And so I'm excited. I know it's a lot of people's favorite and I'm looking forward to reading it. So this is my little TBR for this readathon. I don't know if I'll get to any of these. I, well, I hope I will get to at least a couple of these, but I also have a couple of ebooks that I'm really hoping to get to. I've been in a mood for a smutty romance. And so I have three Christmassy ebooks, I believe, that I have purchased. So I'm really looking forward to reading those as well. Right now it is 6.49. I think I'm going to start to read it on at seven and follow the UK time zone because I don't feel like staying up until midnight. I'm just so excited. And that way we can also sleep. So right now I'm going to pick my first book and I think it's going to be one of my ebooks because like I said, I've been in such a mood for a smutty romance. So I'm going to go with the new Talia Hibbert book, which is wrapped up in you, I believe. Supposedly it's super short, so I should be able to finish it quite easily and it'll be a great way to kick off the readathon. Okay, it's 707 and I'm loving my read already. But no Christmas 24 hour readathon would be complete without hot cocoa. So let's go do that, shall we?
it's 9 40 and i have finished the book so i finished reading wrap up the new by talia hibbert and it was so good i'm giving it a five out of five stars it was more sweet than smutty but the tension and the characters and just everything about it was amazing i wish i could have read like a longer form novel it was just so good i loved it so freaking much highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a sweet romance the ending like everything the epilogue was just chef's kiss really loved it don't have much to say because it was so short but it was amazing i loved it talia hibbert strikes again she's a queen and we have no choice but to stand anyway um i'm not feeling too tired so i think i'm gonna start reading something else i'm gonna try to sleep as little as i can during this readathon i'm not planning on staying up the entire way like through but i am hoping to get as much reading done as possible which means that i'm probably gonna try to sleep as little as i can so the next book that i'm gonna be reading is all i want for christmas by wendy logia or logia i'm not too sure how you pronounce her name but um this is super short it's like less than 200 pages so i think i could maybe finish it before i go to bed or at least i get a big chunk through like get very far into it so we're gonna start this one this one is YA I believe I'm not too sure YA or maybe middle grade it says teen or tweens so maybe even middle grade but I'm excited because as I've mentioned before look at this festive cover it's super cute so let's dive into it good morning so it's the next day and i did end up going to bed last night i slept for like eight hours i think i just needed it i know i said that i would try to sleep as little as i could but i guess my body needed the sleep so i ended up sleeping a full eight hours but now it's like 10 30 and i have finished reading all i want for christmas and i think i'm going to give this book a three out of five stars to be honest i didn't love this as much as i hoped i would the christmas vibes were a 10 out of 10 like if you're looking to get into a christmas spirit this book is perfect it has has everything that you could ask for there's like lots of Christmas songs there's a Christmas cookie swap and like ugly sweaters and Christmas shopping and a bookstore and it's just like perfect the vibes are immaculate however I did feel like the story and the characters felt a little simplistic kind of stereotypical kind of cheesy I don't know it was fine I did enjoy the story and in the end I ended up rooting for the characters but at first I was just like this is so overly dramatic and it may be because this is YA we're following 16 year olds and I'm 25 so maybe that's why I didn't vibe with this as much as I hoped I would but I don't know this wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get out of it however like I said the Christmas vibes were 10 out of 10 so I think a 3 out of 5 stars is a pretty good rating I did enjoy it and I would recommend it if you guys are looking for something cute something short something um, that will put you in the Christmas spirit this book is great I did really not like the ending though like there was a weird twist that, that happened in the end that I was just not here for but other than that was great 3 out of 5 stars is not a bad rating but it wasn't everything that I was hoping it would be so that's sad but now it's time for me to pick my next book and for some reason I am in the mood to read The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. I'll be honest this was not something that I was planning on reading today. I didn't think that I would get to it. I was thinking I might keep it for December but after reading this one I'm in the mood to read this one and I don't know if it's because the covers are like kind of similar like we have two people on the cover and I don't know the style is somewhat similar I don't know maybe it's just that but when I finished this I knew that I wanted to pick this up like I didn't even have to ask myself what I was going to read next because this is the first book that came to mind so this is what we're going to be reading I guess It's 5 45 p.m and i feel like the day has just completely gone away from me because i was reading and next thing you know i finished a book and it was time for dinner so <laughs> i'm sorry i haven't really updated you guys today the readathon is not over we still have about an hour left but i wanted to get you guys on my reading because like i said i did finish my book which was the 12 dates of christmas by jenny bayless and i had such a great time reading it i was not expecting to love this as much as i did i haven't heard a lot about the book 
so I didn't know what to expect really. Um, the best way to describe it is One Day in December meets Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elson. It's kind of fun but it also has like this not sad but more adult tone to it. It also takes place in England so there are cozy vibes that you could get in One Day in December you also get in this one. The Unrequited Love as well a little bit um, and I don't know it kind of reminds me of these two books and I had a great time reading it. I think I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. I've, I had a great time. I read it like pretty much in one sitting but it didn't quite get to a five star. I think what made it difficult for me to fully love this book is the characters. I felt like I didn't really get to know the characters even though I did but I didn't really feel the connection between them as much as I wanted to. I don't know there was something that didn't quite meet my five star standards with this one but I had such a great time reading it. Some of the dates that this girl went on were just like horrendous. Um, I had a great time reading it. It was such a fun read and perfect for Christmas even though I'll say I felt like this was more wintry than Christmassy. Like towards the end it gets very much Christmas-like but whereas All I Want For Christmas was a 10 out of 10 in terms of Christmas vibes this one was probably more like a 6 maybe 7. It was more low-key but you did feel the Christmas vibes but I feel like it was more of a wintry read. Also this made me very hungry. There's a lot of food descriptions. Our main character is a baker and I just I've been craving brownies and mince pies. So yeah had a great time reading it. I would highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a fun Christmas read. This one is great and like I said it could be right even like during uh, winter. It's not necessarily like Christmas bound even though it does have a little bit of a Christmas vibe going on but it's not as strong as All I Want For Christmas for example. So um, as I was saying, the readathon is not over. We have about an hour left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read Booked for Christmas by Lily Menon. I don't know how long this book is, but when I checked on Kobo, um, it was about an hour to two hour like of reading time. So I think I could maybe finish it before 7 p.m. We'll see. But I don't know too much about this one. I just know that we have this author who books a cabin and like I think she throws a party and this guy turns up who little does she know but he's the one who's been leaving very mean reviews on her books. Um, I think he's either like a book reviewer or like a blogger or something like that and I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm excited because I mean it's about books. It's probably gonna be a romance and I'm excited to give this a go. So let's dive into it shall we? It's 6 59 and I have just finished Booked for Christmas by Lily Menon. So I wasn't planning on finishing like right on time but I guess I couldn't have had better timing because the readathon is now over. Like I don't know it just felt like perfect. I don't know. Anyway so I think I'm going to give this story a four out of five stars. It felt very short and so I feel like everything happened very quickly but I did really like the cozy vibes. It's not so much Christmassy as it is a wintry read but it does take place around Christmas time but I felt like it was more a wintry read over a Christmas read if that makes sense. But what I didn't know is that Lady Menon is actually Sandia Menon's pen name. Um, she writes a lot of YA and I am familiar with her work but I didn't know that this was like her adult pen name I guess. So that's exciting. I think that's very surprising. I wasn't expecting her to just choose a different pen name but I like the story. I like the writing. I just felt like everything happened very quickly and that's so likely due to the fact that this was a short story. It was not like a full-on novel. It was meant to be a short story so everything happened very quickly but I did have a great time reading it and I thought it was a nice Christmassy like wintry read and I would recommend it if you guys are looking for something that is very short and sweet. Um, I think you'll enjoy this. So that brings us to the end of the Basically Readathon. I think I'll leave you guys for tonight. I will either continue reading, maybe start editing this video or something and then tomorrow I'll come back and just wrap up everything that I've read, the number of pages and everything. I feel like this was a very successful vlog even though this was supposed to be a fun Christmassy vlog and I guess I just got so wrapped up in my books that I forgot to do all of the fun activities that I had planned. I wanted to bake, I wanted to decorate my room a little bit but I guess I'll have to wait for the next Christmassy vlog to see that happen. I'm definitely planning on reading more Christmassy books over the course of December and doing all of the fun Christmas activities so hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as well. I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. I have so many plans so hopefully this will be a fun ride for you guys as well and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final wrap-up.
Hey guys, so I realized that it's been a week and I still haven't wrapped up this vlog, so let's wrap this up, shall we? So, over the course of this readathon, I read a grand total of four books, which I'm very happy about. The first one that I read was Wrapped Up in You by Talia Hebert. This book has 127 pages and I gave it a five out of five stars, hands down my favorite thing that I've read over the readathon. Then I read All I Want for Christmas by Wendy Logia. This book has 220 pages and I gave it a three out of five stars. After that, I read The 12 Days of Christmas by J.D. Bayless. This book has 300 145 pages and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And finally I read Booked for Christmas by Lily Menon. This book has 89 pages and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So overall that means that I've read a grand total of 781 pages which I'm very happy about. It's not my most successful 24 hour readathon but I feel like it might be my most successful basically readathon. So I've read 4 books and I love them all. I think they were all great Christmas reads and honestly I would recommend all of them if you're looking for fun Christmas books to read this season. So I want to thank Brett for for hosting this readathon. I had such a blast as usual and I cannot wait to participate in the next round. But I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Like I said before, I have so many videos planned for December and the upcoming months. I have amazing plans for my channel and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. And I guess that's it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!